It is time for your win podcast for super busy professionals sharing transformational moments. Your host, Chu Tang. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Your Win Podcast. Today, I have my very special friend, Len. Welcome, Len. Thank you, Chu. I'm so excited to be here today and have this opportunity to be on this amazing podcast show that you have. I've been following you for some time now, and it's just growing. The guests that you have on here are just absolutely outstanding, and it's an honor and privilege to be one of those guests with you today. Thank you. Thank you so much for your support. So, um, Len, would you describe a scene in your life where you experience a transformational moment that changed your life forever from that point on? Ooh. There are just so many different different things that come to mind. I'm, I'm going to step back a little bit and go back into my past, which I think over time led me to my transformational change and into what I do now. Mm. And I want to go back and take everybody back on the journey to me growing up. Mm -hmm. And my life, I'm not going to say it was tough, but I had a father who was just very verbally abusive, mm -hmm. who would put me down, tell me that I'm not good enough, that I'll never amount to anything. And he would always blame my brother and I, and even my mother on his own screw ups on the things that he didn't see the things he messed up on and blamed it on us. And growing up, I began to realize that this is not the way I want to be when I become an adult. This is not the way I want to raise my own children mm. in this type of environment where they don't feel loved or supported. I mean, my father only told me he loved me when he screwed up big time. Mm -hmm. And that was hard at times because I needed that love from my father. I needed his guidance. And he just wasn't a very good teacher. Mm -hmm. Either you learned it once. If not, you were stupid. Mm -hmm. And that made it very challenging and put me in a position at times where I just didn't feel like I was good enough. Hmm. And that that really held me back from my growth, from opportunities to build my confidence up. And I, I really, I, I, I'm, I'm just kind of, I'm thinking here because I, my brain is going back to that pain. I'm trying not to get too emotional here with you. Uh, on this, but it hurt. I'm just going to leave it like that. It, it, it really hurt and stung a lot. Mm. And seeing that, knowing that, feeling that, mm -hmm. made me realize that I don't want other men to suffer. I don't want boys to suffer. And we all have our trauma mm -hmm. in our lives that we still need to overcome. I'm still working through it. I mm. mean, I'm not perfect perfect but I have done the work I have put years in because I recognize that's not how I want to live mm. you know a lot of my other friends you know had fathers similar and some of them went down the pathway of drugs and alcohol where I went down the pathway of learning and mm. educating myself and figure out how can I change this how can I leave a different legacy behind that my children don't have to deal with, that they can have a different approach to their lives so that they can raise their family and their children in a more healthier way. Right. So that those that years of dealing with that mm -hmm. transformed my life, transformed my life to where I am now today as a men's coach, mm -hmm. helping other men be able to have better relationships with their partners, being able to communicate more effectively, being able to learn how to manage their emotions, having that emotional intelligence. Because a man who doesn't have, doesn't know how to manage his emotions and doesn't have self-control 
Mm-hmm. It's a very dangerous person. Yeah. And that goes also for females as well, mm-hmm. for women as well. They they can be very dangerous because without that emotional intelligence, it's hard to regulate. Mm-hmm. It's hard to see things. It's hard to pull back that anger when mm-hmm. you get angry and that can lead towards violence or mm-hmm. saying things that you don't truly mean mm-hmm. in the heat of the moment. So going through those years of experience, you know, through my childhood Mm -hmm. and me saying, I don't want to live this way any longer. I don't want to be a victim. Mm -hmm. I decided to go down that pathway of changing people's lives, focusing on helping other people become more successful, being able to find their pathway for them to find their purpose And be able to regulate their systems, regulate their bodies. Because a lot of our pain and trauma, even though we're still not dealing with it in the present, is still stored in our bodies. And at times our bodies will feel it first before our mind does. Right, right. So when I hear hear my partner say something Mm -hmm. in a certain tone or use certain body language, or mm-hmm. have a facial expression, it might resemble my father. Mm-hmm. It might resemble a past relationship that will automatically just naturally trigger me to respond because my because it's my body, my mind is trying to protect itself immediately. Right, right. And that is why I want to teach men to understand this mm-hmm. on how they can move past this to understand what's coming up for them to deal with it in that moment Mm -hmm. to step away and to come back with a clear mind and not as charged emotions Mm -hmm. so that they can communicate with their partner more effectively to hold space for them to be there for them Mm -hmm. so that is that that is what i that is my goal that is my plan. That, that's what I'm here on, on earth right now to do, to be in service to others mm-hmm. and to help men change and to be able to understand themselves, to be able to be vulnerable when they need to be, to be able to hold that position of leadership, to have clarity in their lives and to gain a better connection, not only with their partner, mm-hmm. but with themselves. And when you can have that greater connection with yourself, you can have that greater connection with the world around you. Wow. So that's my transformation moment. It 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 wasn't ju- it was years years of it of 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 those little things mm-hmm. that got me to where I am now, and I'm grateful for it. I, I going back to my father. Mm-hmm. I love my father. My father has passed away. Um, there's times I hated him, times I wish he was never my father, but I still loved him and Mm -hmm. I still wanted that relationship with him. And and I'm grateful that I was able to offer him forgiveness. Mm -hmm. I may not liked his actions, but I knew I didn't want to be a victim any longer. So Mm -hmm. I made that conscious choice to forgive him so I could forgive myself. Mm -hmm. So I can move on with my life and live it in a more healthier manner instead of staying in the past. Right. Holding myself there because it was not healthy. Mm. It was not healthy keeping myself depressed. Right. Living in fear of him. Mm -hmm. That just led to more pain for me. But once I was able to forgive him, my whole world changed. And I'm grateful that I was able to do that before he passed away. Or I would probably be living with a lot of that pain still today. Oh, okay. In in that regards. So wow. that's 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 my moment. I I feel so fortunate as a woman because we never have any limitation to express our emotion. But for men, it's it's a different different world, right? It it, it is because we have grown up, you know, man up, don't show yeah. your emotions, toughen yeah. up. Yeah. We even see it in TV shows and movies. Mm -hmm. And 
men men don't don't have a handbook. You know, I know women don't either, but there's no real real handbook of saying what's right and what's wrong and how we right. should be and not be. Mm-hmm. And and you need to figure out that blend of being overly masculine and not mm-hmm. masculine enough, where you're <laughs> more, more in your feminine energy, we'll call it that way, mm-hmm. and too far off the spectrum, mm-hmm. where you want to find a middle place. I see. Where you can hold your own, mm-hmm. but also being able to comfort somebody at the same time when they need it and be there with them, be honestly be there with them. Yeah. And hold that for that, to hold them, hold, hold that space for them. Wow. That's, that to me is what makes a real man who can do that. You took a lot of courage to be where you are today. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. Yes. It's, it's been a long journey, mm. a lot of ups and downs. Yeah. I've never given up on myself. Wow. Even when things got tough and I just kept moving forward finding the next thing that I can help improve mm-hmm. myself mm-hmm. on this journey. And I always ask my friends for feedback. You know, what do you like about me? What do you don't like about me? I'm probably one of those weird people who does that, you know, because I want to know because we all have our blind spots. Yeah, yeah. We okay. all have things that we can't see. Mm-hmm. And we all get in patterns of doing the exact same thing over and over again, you mm-hmm. know, either personally or in our professional life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And until somebody calls us out on it, we yeah. don't know. Right. So I always ask, what can I do better? Right. And I even ask my girlfriend all the time, what can I do better for you? Where do you see that I'm weak at? Where do you feel that I'm strong at? Mm. How can I make this relationship better? What is it that you really need? Mm. Those are the questions men should really be asking their partner. Right, right. That is going to make your relationship better. Not just guessing. We're not mind readers. You know, sometimes... Mm. Women assume that we should know certain things, but we're not. Right, you know, we, right. We can't at times. We don't know what what people mean. And right. it's always just ask. And then yeah. you, get the answer. you may not like the answer, mm-hmm. but that's where your emotional intelligence comes in. That's where you learn to regulate your emotions and be like, okay, I hear mm-hmm. what you're saying. I get it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Let me think about it, reflect on it, and come mm-hmm. back to you with a response. Right, that's right. thoughtful and intelligent, not just in the moment of passion or heat or anger. Right, that's right, and that makes a huge difference in the type of person you are. Man, mm. I learned a lot today. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, th- yeah. Thank you so much for sharing this, you know, story. Yeah, yeah. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate you very much being here. Uh, I look forward to listening to this as well as listening to all your other podcast shows. Mm-hmm. You're an amazing host. Oh, and, you. Um, you know, if you ever need me back on the show, let me know. I'll love to do it again and talk to you more in depth about anything. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe and share. See you soon at Your Win Podcast.